I'm Larry Friend. I own apartment buildings in Chicago, and I am an author for three children's books. I moved to Chicago in 1969. I was a manager for John Hancock Insurance, and then I just didn't like being in the office that much. I had to clean my own office because I had no money. When I was cleaning the office, I couldn't beat the one man to clean the office, so I said to him, Tom, I said, I just can't beat you in. He said, it doesn't matter, I'm in real estate, I'm buying apartment buildings. And I said, okay, I'd really like that. And after about four or five years, then I went on my own in the apartment buildings. And I've been in the apartment business since then, up until now. A lot of my friends want me to retire, but I just love what I do. It's stressful, but I just like it. I've always been a storyteller. My grandkids would, well, they still laugh at us because we still tell stories all the time. And, and so then it just happened that I started putting that, those thoughts and stories into the book. Okay, this is the first book I wrote, it was I See the Iceberg, and we, we've been all over the world. And uh, we did like to go to Alaska, we wanted to go to Alaska, so I took the boat to Alaska and on the boat, I just was watching the scenery and watching the animals, and I just really enjoyed it. So I went up to the library, and I came back a couple hours later, and Nancy said, why were you gone so long? And I said, I just had this inspiration to write this book. I wrote Icy. I had the writings, so my sister decided to do the illustrations. So she did all the illustrations. She came up with Icy, the model, and, and she did all the interior, and some of it's really clever. I, one thing I'll show you, that uh, it was on... Uh, how, how snowflakes and, and things are born. And she, she came up with that. I still didn't know what to do with it. And one of our friends who used to work for DreamWorks, he moved out here and joined our church. I said, Brian, what can I do with this? And he says, I'll help you put it together. So that's how we came up with this book. Uh, we, we had lived in Chicago for 28 years and Nancy wanted to move. I, we found this log cabin and we, we bought it. And Nancy loves animals and well, I love animals too. But she said, can I, put up some bird feeders. So I decided to put up bird feeders and I have them about four or five different areas in the property. I do about 40 pounds of bird feed a week. And over the years, I started watching the squirrels and, and the way they interact with each other and the way they play in the feeder and, and then the, in the winter, the way they played in the snow. And so I started getting this idea to write a, a book about squirrels. And then, for some reason, I decided it was, Squirrely was lonely, and I decided to make it a squirrel love story. Uh, I kept adding to it and adding to it and seeing the different things and the different interaction with the feeders, like one of the feeders, they have a spinner at the bottom. Nancy, she has her office uh, in the house, and she looked out the window and she saw the squirrel get on the spinner and he's flat out and he flies off. So I put that in the book. Uh, how they played in the snow, how they found the nuts. They hide the nuts and, and they find them in the winter. So I came up with a nut positioning system, that the NPS, and I said to him, okay, uh, this is how, how we find the nuts. And that's, that's how this book came about. It was all about th the interactions around here. This is Snowy the White Dove of Love, and this is a very interesting book. When the kids were little, uh, they came back from school and there was a white dove sitting in the backyard on the grass. So when Nancy came back from work, she decided, well, we're going to take this dove and put it in the house. And I started the story there, but I didn't know where Snowy came from. So I decided it was a magician's dove. He was very happy to be that, but finally he wanted to escape. And he escaped and he landed in the backyard. After that, the entire story is true. We bought the log cabin here and he, he had about another year of good life, and, we, and then it was very sad. Finally, he got sick and, and passed away. And so I, I used to make gravestones for animals. So I made a gravestone for Snowy, and I put a uh, bird on it, and I made a cross for Snowy. So Snowy's still here, but he's outside the, Nancy's office. Of all the characters in the books, my favorite is, is Squirrely. Because I think Squirrely is a little bit reminds me of myself because he's, his personality, his drive to get things done, the way he built these, the, the beautiful house for his wife. And the book I'm working on now is called uh, Outhouse to Log House. That's the one I'm working on. And the reason it's Outhouse to Log House is when my wife and I first got married, we had no money and I was still in college. So we lived on a farmhouse and the farmhouse had no bathroom and no heat really and Nancy had to take the coal bring the coal up from the basement and keep it hot every day and it was freezing in the bedroom 20 years ago we bought the log house uh, now we love it here but that's how it got from outhouse to log house and that's what I'm going to write and I think that's the 
the next book I might I'll probably be doing.